The economic recovery is slowing, inflation is high, and Americans are increasingly pessimistic about where the country is heading. Many believe we're already in a recession, and the latest data backs that up. Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with more. As prices go up, the economy is down, shrinking for a second straight quarter by 0.9 percent, according to the Bureau of Economic Analysis. The gross domestic product also contracted by 1.6 percent in the first quarter. By many common definitions, that signals a recession. The White House has repeatedly pushed back, saying the GDP number isn't the only factor to watch. We have a strong labor market. We have business that's investing. We have consumers uh, that are also uh, very much, uh, uh, you know, in, in investing and, and purchasing. Most Americans don't really care about this debate. What they see is a slowing economy and rising prices. Analysts and politicians are split on if the GDP number does signal a recession. It's a political recession, that's for sure, um, labor force growth is still pretty good. On the other hand, inflation's really high. The fact is that 10 times we've had two negative quarters or more uh, since the Second World War, and every time it was a recession. To bring down inflation, the Federal Reserve again raised rates by three quarters of a percentage point on Wednesday. However, a recession has been the risk of their aggressive hikes. You tend to take first GDP reports, I think, with, uh, with a grain of salt. I do not think the U.S. is currently in a recession. The 0.9 decrease is only an early estimate. The final figure for the second quarter won't be released until late August. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.